Hi there, I'm Neil Elworthy from Kelp Media, and we did a beer tasting with some of Carlo Brewing's infamous O'Hara's range. Here's what we found out. First beer we tried was Kurm. Now Kurm is a Celtic take on the classic wheat beer. At 4.3%, it's a wonderful wheaty taste that anybody who's ever worked at the Beer Fest or the October Munich Fest will easily identify with. Very heady, but well worth a try. Next on the list was O'Hara's Amber Adventure. Now, don't let the kitsch label fool you. This lager bows in at 4.1%, and as far as its taste is concerned, it rivals any lager that's out there on the market at the moment. It's not too heavy, and it doesn't have that horrible metallic taste that most lagers leave lingering in their aftertaste. A lager by any other name. Staying at lagers, we have O'Hara's Irish Lager. It comes to retail at 4.5%. This impressive lager is full bodied as it's been hopped several times, giving it a distinct blend of tones and aromas. Without a doubt, a clean and balanced lager. Moving on to the lagers, it's time to start with the ales, and we're starting with O'Hara's Irish Red. Like all ales, it has a traditional hop taste. Weighing in at 4.3%, you can smell both the hops and the sweet malt as they bring out this wonderful caramel taste. Definitely one for ale drinkers. Next up is O'Hara's Irish Pale Ale. This is a dry hop IPA with a strength of 5.2%. It's an IPA with a full bodied and lingering bitterness that follows a zesty, citrusy burst of aroma. If you like ales, this is one for you. Up next, batting for the ales is O'Hara's Double IPA. This is the daddy of all ales, weighing in at an astounding 7.5%. Its hops give a strong aroma and their wonderful vibrant tastes of caramel, grapefruit and just a hint of chocolate. If you're an ale drinker, spoil yourself this weekend and go out and grab some of these. Trust me, you won't go far wrong. In our beer tasting night among friends, this one by a country mile and two of those three don't even drink ale as a rule. Says it all, Reed. And so, on to the stouts. O'Hara's Irish Stout is an award-winning little number that comes to market at 4.3%. It's a traditional dry Irish stout, a full roasted grains that one would expect from Irish stouts, leaving a robust roasted coffee, almost an espresso-like taste on the palate. If you like stouts, you can't go wrong with this. Next up for the stouts is O'Hara's Leon Fulon, extra Irish stout. Coming to market at a full 6%, it's got a richness on the body that's unrivaled by anything in the stout range or stout markets today. If you like dark chocolate or vanilla, then you're going to love this. It's got bite and a sweet mocha coffee-like aroma. A real stout crowd pleaser. Now remember, these are just a few beers that myself and my friends have tried and tested. All the opinions that you've heard are mine alone. But do feel free to try some of these and prove me right. Drink responsibly because beer is meant to be enjoyed by all. And until next time, as they say in Bulgaria, Nostrave.